This test is going to be for the triceps muscle. We're going to start with it in prone. He's going to be laying prone, arm off the edge of the table. I'm going to have him extend his elbow. If he can extend it all the way, that's already, we know that he has a three already. So he's extended all the way. I can say, I'm going to have him uh, back off just a little bit. I want to flex his elbow just slightly because if he's completely fully extended, that's the uh, uh, close pack position of the ulnar humeral joint, which gives him some degree of stability. And it may, may actually be that stability I'm feeling and not his triceps. So I'm going to have him back off just a little. Hold there. Don't let me push that. Don't let me push. Hold, 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 hold. And if he can hold maximal resistance, that's a five. If he has just a little bit of a give, has moderate to strong resistance, that would be a four. A three, we already said he'll go through full range of motion uh, against gravity, that'll be three. And then I'll have him stand, sit, I'm sorry, for a two. We'll use your right arm for this again. And what I'll do is I'll bring him to 90 and I'll stabilize here. And then I just wanna see if he can extend on his own. And if he can, that would be a two. Now with this one, you wanna be careful that you don't have his, watch what happens if I, if I don't have his arm horizontal and I have it here, he doesn't even really have to contract his triceps to extend because gravity will pull his forearm into extension. So I wanna make sure I'm at least above gravity here for him to do the two. And then I can still keep in the same position. I just reach around and palpate his triceps tendon just barely push against me, yep, and there's firing. Very easily, large muscle, very easy to feel the tendon uh, contract in your fingers. So that would be a one, and then a zero would be no contractile.